Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dan and if you're not familiar with my channel, I'm making like I'm usually making like baking, cooking, DIY episodes. So um stay tuned and if you wanna join our small family, click on the link below and subscribe to my channel. And as always we're making tasty recipes, so stay tuned. Let's go to the video. Well personally I think the most fun way to wake up in the morning is to wake up to something that you like and if you like coffee that episode is Definitely for you or also if you like tea. Today we're making almond milk and it's gonna be very simple and tasty so let's go. Well for that recipe you will need to be prepared for two reasons. One reason because you need to have like glass bottle or like plastic bottle, doesn't matter, but you will need a bottle. Um, the second prep you will need for that recipe is uh, to soak actually the almond night before you want to make the actual milk. As you see I have two bottles because I will separate the milk mixture into two bottles. That bottle will contain milk with um, uh, cinnamon, so a half of the family doesn't like cinnamon. So that's the reason why. Um, okay, well as you see I soak the almonds every night. You will need to soak your almonds before you want to actually make the milk. Well after you let them rest overnight uh, you can see they're really plump, so that's really good. Uh, now, be sure to wash them at the same because you don't want to use those water, they're disgusting. Um, wait, just strain them in your sink, that's fine. That recipe is required um, blender, so make sure you have a blender if you want to make almond milk. But after you wash them in the sink, uh, just put them into the blender. Keep your mind yourself that about uh, one cup of almonds you will need four cups of water. So because I used one and a half cup of almonds, I will need about six cups of water. So actually I used five cups of water and it just like filled up to the end. So what can I do? Before you blend it, don't forget to use seasoning. I'm using like of course because I want to use like natural sugar. Um, I use pity date. I don't know why, but every single time I'm in the kitchen baking, I always forgot using the uh, vanilla extract. Of course, it's you nature. I will use instead of half teaspoon, I will use a uh, full teaspoon. Because you don't like vanilla, am I right, guys? So basically I have here one and a half cups of almond, five cups of water and one full teaspoon and two penny dates. Now blend it all together. Uh, for full results you will need to blend this in one and a half minutes and then you can strain your mixture. It's not sealed you guys. I have no idea why it's the first time it's happening. Of course it's happening when I'm filming something. So funny, you guys. I have to show you. Wait. Look how funny it is. That's so cool. Wait, can you see that? It's probably unsanitary, but I washed my hands before I wear it. Now, basically, you'll need to use the cheesecloth to strain the mixture because you don't want almond milk. Now, place it above the strainer carefully. Pour the mixture above the cloth. Be careful not to spit it everywhere. Now grab your milk sack. It's not funny. And just start milking it because there's so many left at the almond milk, so you want to use it all. We made so much milk. 
Who wanna come over for a coffee? <laughs> well, I do believe that's all. Well, stop filling it up. I wanna taste it so bad. That's look awesome. Well, I think that's enough for the first bottle because as I said, I have one more. Look how lovely that is. Homemade milk. Such a great gift. For the second bottle, we will use like different seasoning. Of course, we have here the vanilla and the dates. Uh, but we will also use cinnamon and maple syrup. So, one teaspoon of maple syrup. And just like the smallest amount of cinnamon that you can put in. Give it a good rinse. That's all simple as that. Actually, that's all. I know this is an edited video, but I swear it didn't take too long and said that I need to uh, soak the almond the night before, but it actually don't do a lot. So that's so easy, simple recipe. Now, the one I truly waited for a long time, the taste test. Wow, like, seriously, now I understand, like, how almond milk is supposed to taste like that. Taste. Awesome! I'm very excited to try this one. <laughs> I love it, syrup. Cheers to you all, guys! Wow! All that taste. Seriously, like, heaven! Oh my god, like, I don't know, like, I'm very, I'm very pleased with this video. I think I'm gonna make myself so much coffee this week because that's actually, you can hold it in the fridge only between like four to seven days, like max seven days. Seriously, I know I say it every single video, but you have to try this and recreate it at your place. That's amazing, like that one specifically, it tastes amazing. So thank you so much for watching. Don't be shy, subscribe to my channel down below, and I will leave a link in the description box for more four recipes that are made on iced coffee recipe. So make sure to click on that link down below in the description box. Give a big thumbs up if you like this video. So thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye.